Hey there, in this second part of Gorgeous 102, we are going to be talking about auto replies. This is a common request that we get and I hope that this video kind of explains how to set up your own auto reply as well as some best practices. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new rule and as always, I want to make the description as, or sorry, the title as descriptive as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and name this auto reply product question. Um, and I will go ahead and apply the description where um, we want to send the macro. When the conditions within this rule apply, conditions within this rule apply. Perfect, I'll go ahead and create the rule. So in this case, we are gonna go ahead and use when ticket created, and we are going to be utilizing our message intents. So in message intents, um, what this is going to be are the almost like synonyms within the um, message itself. So we want, you know, the product questions and product recommendation as the intents because that's what people will be asking about. Um, then we are going to go ahead and add in the usual. So if ticket status is open, if message from agent is false. Awesome. And then finally, we are going to go ahead and add in this last condition, which basically guarantees that as long as like another intent isn't uh, picked up within uh, this uh, rule, it will fire. So like if someone is also asking about like their account or maybe, you know, looking to exchange something related to the product, this rule will not fire. Um, this is what the adding of all these other intents does, is it just makes sure that if a customer is only asking about a product recommendation or a product question, that this will fire. From there, we want to also make sure that this isn't, you know, someone coming in asking for a specific product recommendation. Um, so like, for example, someone might come in saying, you know, they have, um, a certain allergy and does your product contain that active ingredient, for example. Um, so what this will do is adding this extra statement that I'm about to add will just ensure that the as long as the message body contains one of these keywords that we've kind of seen come up a lot um, for these kinds of questions, um, then this rule will fire. What this does is it also makes sure that when your client gets uh, emails from you, they don't think that there is a bot sending them that, which I think a lot of us are pretty cognizant of because we want to make sure that our clients get that white glove service. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my macro. Where are your products made? Because the client will probably be asking that. Um, and we only want this rule to fire when there's actually a question around, uh, you know, where the products are manufactured. Um, I hope this helps. Of course, please reach out to our support team or your success manager if we can help out with any further questions around auto responses.